After upgrading this computer with the new Samsung SSD drive with the cloned operating system, every time I try to reboot the system, the computer shows this screen, Windows failed to start. I used a genuine Samsung data migration software and everything seems to be working correctly while cloning the disk, but at first I failed to realize that the original disk had two partitions, C and G. And when I start the cloning process, at the end I will get a single partition with the letter C. Apparently there was an option to add an additional partition with the letter G by clicking on the plus sign. And in my case it's not only optional, it's mandatory. Because that partition contains system files necessary to boot. That partition doesn't have to be large, so I made it as small as possible by dragging it to the right side. After cloning the SSD drive once again, the software is showing that the clone was successful and the disk is showing two partitions C and G just like the original disk but when I restart the computer with the new cloned SSD drive Windows will not boot up and that probably means that I need to change my boot order and move my new SSD drive to the first place so I need to restart the computer once again and while it's trying to boot up hit delete key on the keyboard multiple times until some new options show up on the screen. If delete key didn't work for you, do some research on which key you're supposed to hit on your particular system to get to advanced BIOS settings. Your page may look a bit different, but what you're looking for is BIOS. Scroll down to it with the arrow key and once it's highlighted, hit enter. On this page you're looking for hard disk boot priority and it's already highlighted in my case, so just hit enter. And on this page, I already see the problem. My new Samsung SSD drive at number two spot. Scroll down with the arrow key to highlight it and hit the plus key to move it up to number one position. With the new operating system drive on the top, hit F10 key to save it. Letter Y is flashing for yes. So hit the enter key to confirm and save it. The system should reboot automatically by itself. And this time I can already see that the Windows is booting up properly. If you found this video helpful, hit the like button and thanks for watching.